I'm Alana Molstein, registered dietitian, nutritionist, and creator of the To Be Mindset with Beachbody. And I always want yummy, delicious recipes that are quick and they're easy and definitely fulfill all my cravings, especially these days. So today I wanna show you how to make a tuna melt stuffed pepper. It's quick, it's easy, and it's so satisfying. You would never know it's also really good for you. So I'm gonna start, I just preheated the oven to 350 and I'm going to start by just prepping the peppers a little bit. So all you do, they were already rinsed. I just slice them in half, take out the stem and seeds, and then put them on a baking sheet. And then you can put them face up just like that right into the oven. So while the peppers are getting like toasty and soft in the oven, we're gonna prep the tuna. So I'm gonna use about half a can today. And there are so many tuna brands now that actually test for mercury and are lower in mercury. So if that's something you're concerned about, it's really awesome that we have that opportunity now. And I'm just going to mash that up with my fork. I like albacore. Feels nice and lean to me. And then I'm gonna add in about one tablespoon of light mayo. You can also use Greek yogurt. I love to use whole fat Greek yogurt. I just don't have any on hand right now. Mustard is the secret sauce ingredient in all good tunas. And I do like to season it with garlic powder, onion powder, a little black pepper. And I'm not gonna season it with salt today because it has salt in the can and I'm also gonna top it with some cheese. I'm just gonna mash this all up. Perfect. Now I'm going to pull out my peppers and stuff them. After even just four or five minutes in the oven at around 350, you'll see the peppers get really warm and some of the water will get released. So I just like to pat that out so it's not too watery. Once it's cooled, you wanna be safe and careful. You can fill up your peppers with your tuna. This is so comforting to me because I used to love huge baguettes of tuna melts, but that was when I was a little less healthy. Now, filling it up with a pepper instead has been a really great healthy swap that just makes me feel more energized after the dish as well. So now I fill it up with my tuna, yum, and I'm gonna top it off with some cheese. So I have this really yummy cheddar cheese here, and you can grate it, you can use Swiss, you can use cheddar, you could use anything that sounds good to you. I'm gonna take some nice thin slices and do about two per pepper. And I'm gonna throw those back into the oven until it's nice and toasty. You can set the heat up a little higher, maybe 375, or onto a light broil if you check it. We want that cheese to be nice, bubbly, and delicious. After a few minutes, it gets bubbly and super cheesy and it smells amazing. This is also something you can make in a toaster oven or air fryer. It's fast and so scrumptious looking. Ooh, look at that cheesiness. This is such a delicious and satisfying recipe, especially uh, in my pregnancy when I want something that's like hot and toasty and super cheesy. This totally, totally fits the bill. Thank you so much for joining me on Feed the Beast, Pregnancy Craving Edition.